Why, hello there. Long time no see. Not really. How was your, uh, night last night and the day that I didn't see you? Good, me too. So my goal is to make this into a sheet of paper. I haven't even started pressure flaking this guy yet. So when you have a shape like this, see how it's quite asymmetrical. You have two options. You can either bring this side in, or you can look at it, and I have the option to bring this side in. And that's a lot less material and a lot, and it'll keep all the width anyways. So I'll do that. And uh, hopefully I can get rid of this thick spot here. Mm hmm. Let you know how that goes. Well, you'll see how it goes. Meanwhile, like taking flakes wherever I can. Because we do need this thing thinner in the base here.
No! No! End snapped it. I tried to support it, but I end snapped it. I really tried to. Oh, I really, really tried to keep that thing, but you gotta, gotta hold it, um, solid, um, just goes to show you still, uh, still end snap them. That's not the rock's fault at all. That is 100% my fault. So, well, this point just got a lot easier to make, anyways. But that's a shame. Thought it was supporting it. End snap is when you're not, like, it isn't supported enough, and, um, apparently they say there's a shock wave that when you hit it down at the end, it bounces this way, and then if it, uh, it'll bounce, well, it bounces back, and where it collides, that's where it snaps, but it's also, um, if there's any little, like, um, if it's not continuous at all like here you can see there was a little um, divot here and maybe a little tiny crack that I had made from a, like a perverse fracture or something um, but anyways yeah the base snapped off so much for keeping the length That always seems to happen when I'm making a thin point, though, because I never know when to quit. Um, but as you could see, I couldn't quit. I couldn't quit because that base was too thick. Um, I guess that's why they say thin the base and the tip first, but uh, I don't know. Tricky. Tricky business. Oh well, I think I'll move to pressure now. And, uh. Yeah, that'll be good. Just about done now. <laughs> I know, I'll practice. I'll practice for when I get that K County. I'll turn this into the only obsidian calf creek. <laughs> it's a Texas point, so it's mostly flint or, uh, well, it's eastern, anyways. So. Alrighty, let's pressure flake it. I'll do one pass and then I'll uh, do the rest off camera because pressure flaking is really repetitive. I'll show you how I do it again if uh, people are still having trouble. Um, make sure you have your uh, platform well ground. Um, also, copper makes a difference. If you don't have copper, you can use a, um, aluminum. And if you don't have aluminum, you can use antler. Um, all of those work about the same, but uh, try not to uh, use steel. Sometimes that's all you have around, but uh, it really makes a difference to have the right material.
basically pressure flaking is the exact same thing as percussion flaking except on a small scale so same rules apply except you can be more precise with it because you're not actually swinging and hitting it Alrighty, well that's my first pass. Um, I'll show you when I'm done pressure flaking, and then uh, yeah, because it gets it gets pretty repetitive, like I said before. Um, I'll show you the preform, and then we can notch it. Um, I might change my mind. I might want to do a big corner notch like this, but uh, we'll see. Alrighty, see you in a bit. <laughs> 